The incumbent mayor of Paris, Anne Hidalgo, has announced as part of her re-election campaign that she'd like to turn Paris into a 15-minute city. If this is achieved, it could be the biggest overhaul of Paris's infrastructure since the adoption of the automobile. So what is a 15-minute city? The idea is to create neighborhoods where everything essential to residents' needs is accessible within 15 minutes. So this means doctor's offices, grocery stores, uh, sports facilities, workplaces, apartments, everything you need as part of your pattern of daily life. So why does this matter? Well, first, it would require taking a lot of street space away from cars and giving it to pedestrians and cyclists. Now, this is something that cities have done all over the world, but this takes it to a new level. It used to be, a few years ago, if you wanted to get people onto bikes in a city and you were a mayor, you would build bike lanes. The problem was that these bike lanes were often disconnected and of poor quality. Uh, and now what this does with this system is it really thinks about how transportation interacts with urban space. So the question isn't, does the street has, have a bike lane? The question is, can you as a cyclist get to everything that you need to get to? So what are the potential obstacles? Well, there are a couple. Number one, drivers really don't like it when you take away space for, from cars, when you take away parking spaces or when you reduce travel lanes. There's been a lot of uh, so-called bike lash to these projects in other cities, and it remains to be seen how many of these projects can actually get implemented in Paris. Another problem is that this really goes against a uh, hundred years of urban planning orthodoxy. The idea being that you want to separate the functions of the city. You want to take residential places and you want to separate them from commercial places. And you want to separate those from industrial places. Now, Anne Hidalgo, uh, who's been inspired by Jane Jacobs, argues that actually mixing these functions strengthens the social fabric of the city and makes neighborhoods more appealing. Unfortunately, the city has already followed this pattern for a hundred years, so there's a lot of work to be done to integrate the neighborhood functions.